How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We could be ready to blow up. There are a lot of things that are happening in the background that make me quite bullish for the new year. And I want to bring them to you this morning. I'm waking up pretty early, so I might wait a little bit to post this. Uh, but I am gonna be traveling over the next couple days. So in case I'm posting at weird times or uh, not posting as much, that is the reason why. Uh, also apologize for the setup, just getting ready to leave here in a moment, which is why I'm out of the office. Now, before we get started, there is a link down there to Marjax. Marjax and I are gonna run a trading competition here very soon. And even over the last couple of days when the market fell, I have been able to open a couple positions that actually did quite well. You can see that in the Patreon, a 33% gain and a 50% gain. Obviously easier when we're moving up, but you can still make money when the market's moving down. So definitely check this out. There's no KYC, no VPN. Same thing with Blowfin. So there's a deposit bonus now, but they're also getting ready for another trading competition with an iPhone with deposit bonuses. Uh, and I would definitely check this out as well. They have so many different trading pairs. It's one of the safest uh, new exchanges to invest on. So check out both those links underneath the video. As you can see, crypto, over the last 24 hours is down a tiny bit, 0.22%. Bitcoin down 1.6%, uh, but there are some altcoins that are standing out still moving up like Cosmos. Now, uh, I think we're looking short term uh, a lot recently and we have to look longer term. The SEC just met with BlackRock yesterday for the third time to discuss their Bitcoin ETF. We also know BlackRock has sold well, seeded $100,000 worth of their ETF, and they have a private Bitcoin trust, which has bought hundreds of millions of dollars as well. SEC also met Grayscale, Fidelity, and Franklin Templeton during the week. All the ETFs are lining up for approval. So it's a, definitely a good sign if the SEC is meeting with these companies, is telling them what they need to do, they're revising what they're proposing, and that's what we continuously see at the same time we're seeing massive buys uh, mr four million is back if you remember people were calling him mr four million on twitter because he kept on buying like four million uh, dollars worth of bitcoin a day just smashing by buy 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 now he's back or she's back uh he, they bought 2,300 Bitcoin yesterday for 100 mil. I mean, 330 Bitcoin, 116 Bitcoin, 110 Bitcoin, 100, 500 Bitcoin over and over. And you could be saying, well, they could just be uh, transferring to this wallet. That's true. But first of all, why would they be transferring from an exchange if they had bought it like a month ago? Why not move it right away? And then the other side of it is too, if they're transferring it from another wallet, why would they transfer it into one of the biggest wallets out there, right? So whoever this is continues to most likely smash buy over and over, doesn't matter the price, which forces up the price. Also, this person continues to buy, uh, just kind of out of nowhere, over the, two days ago, they bought a significant amount. I mean, we're talking about almost 7,000 Bitcoin. So they bought $300 million worth of Bitcoin. Of course, they were a large wallet before that. They had about 2,800 Bitcoin, but then they went up to almost 10,000 Bitcoin, making them 113th richest, uh, the 113th richest wallet. They are negative a bit because they did buy around 42,000 uh, and now, and at 43.7. And now we're just at about a modest 41,000. So we continue to see whales buy and it doesn't matter um, what day it is. It doesn't matter the price, they just smash buy. And that's probably because they can see that the SEC is going to approve the ETFs. And so many people look at this and say, okay, the day of we could fall because people are gonna sell the news, right? So many people think that, buy the rumor, sell the news. But the thing is that first week is so unimportant. What's more important uh, after this ETF gets approved is that it is adopted, that people put it in retirement accounts, that people use it in pension funds to buy up shares uh, of these ETFs and buy up cryptocurrency for the long term. So that, that constant flow of money is really what's gonna be important because we've never had that with something that's so finite like Bitcoin. Also, there are some people that don't even understand how impactful this will be. 
Alexander Lorenzo, someone that I've uh, talked with before. He's another YouTuber. He says, let's not forget Bitcoin. 1% of this into Bitcoin would increase the market by 25%, not including all the hype around it. And they go and list all the different uh, people that are going to try to get ETFs. And while I think the sentiment is right, what he's saying is wrong. He lists out all the uh, total assets managed, 8.5 trillion plus for BlackRock, 4.2 trillion for Fidelity, 1.5 trillion for Franklin Templeton, 1.4 trillion for Invesco. I think some of these are off, by the way. I'm not sure what these mean down in here, but these aren't trillions. Um, but even these up here are off. Fidelity has 4.5 trillion, which I think is uh, off here, yep, about 10%. In BlackRock, had about 9.42 trillion as of June 30, 2023, which is which is a significant difference from 8.5, but that's not the gripe that I have. The gripe that I have is him saying 1% of all this into Bitcoin would increase the market 25%, not including all the hype around it. So I think what he's coming up with is if you add all these up, let's say it's $20 trillion, right? 10% of that would be $200 billion, or 1% of that would be $200 billion, which is about 25% the market cap of Bitcoin. The problem is Bitcoin would move up a lot more if $200 billion came into it. A lot of people don't understand that, right? If $200 billion comes into Bitcoin, it would shoot up the price, oh, man, 25x that. It would, it would shoot up the price drastically. I mean, I'm talking 4xing, 5xing the price because Bitcoin does not move based on the amount of money that comes into it. The market cap does not increase by that amount. There's a multiplier. So whenever you buy an asset, especially Bitcoin, uh, the market cap will go up much faster than whatever amount of money you put into it. And the reason for that is because there's not that much Bitcoin to go around, right? There are a couple million on exchanges and not all those are even up for sale. Some people just hold their crypto there. So when you come in and try to buy a significant amount, it pushes up the price very quickly. As I said, there's a multiplier effect, maybe 20 to 25 times. Some go as far as to say 200 times. This is uh, banks and institutions saying there could be up to a 100 to 200 X multiplier on money that you put into it. Of course, it depends on how you buy, where you buy, how much you buy. If you're going to buy a significant amount, it's going to push up the price more than if you go and buy $10, right? $10 isn't really going to affect the price very much. Trump continues to sell more NFTs, whether you like him or you hate him. He is someone that is well recognized and is pushing for more people to use Polygon. He's selling these cards $100 a piece. And if you buy 47 of them, you can get a very small piece of the suit that he wore the day that he got arrested. And you can also get a dinner, I guess, at one of his houses. So there are going to be people that buy this. There are people that will buy this and buy as many as they can. Uh, they sold out the last two collections, I believe, pretty quickly. So, hey, I mean, Trump's making some money from NFTs. I think all of us will be making money um, in the next bull run, especially if you bought NFTs. NFTs. I think there is going to be some uh, degening in that arena as well, and people will move there eventually. If you know anything about human greed uh, in the human condition, we will probably continue to move down the risk curve until everything blows up. Now, let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. Obviously, you have to do your own research. I'm not telling you what to do or to buy uh, or anything like that. Make sure you do your own due diligence. Again, there are links to Marjax and to Blowfin underneath the video. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.